y'all good morning it's a new day <laughs> same routine going on so stop by to say hey good morning princess and i are getting ready for school and work right. today um, girl they didn't came and stole my trash cans because i ain't paid a bill my trash bill we went to set the trash out last night and honey the trash cans were gone they came and kidnapped the trash cans that's what they do when you don't pay your trash bill they take the uh trash cans girl so gotta try to get that paid today pay my light bill hi guys <laughs> good morning good morning <laughs> did all of that crying and stressing you know about my personal property taxes did all of that got everything out the way and still haven't made it over to get my stickers and now that i have a for real for real job you know that's way out there in that county you know where the popos be messing with you girl i need to go get these stickers today for my car and quit playing like time just goes so fast maybe now here we are in april go see my client today and i think that's really all i have going on for today so yeah my hair is dry i look a mess i'm dry yes honey ugly this morning so we gotta get out of here um, she's requesting a breakfast burrito but sometimes i don't be having all that time to be trying to stop and get her to school Please. on time Please, 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 what a cherry on top of If she don't hurry up, she won't be going to McDonald's. So anyway, yeah, that's what we got going on. So I'll just see y'all when please. I turn this camera back on. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, my God, finally. Got my stickers for my car. Oh, my God, the line is stupid long. Like, and it's cold as heck out here. Girl, I just had to run to the car. Yeah. I have my stickers, and she just gonna take my card, right, and swipe my card. How do she know I had enough? Like, she didn't even tell me how much it was. She just gonna swipe my card. But luckily, it was only $54 to get these stickers. Why so much? Oh, my God. They charge... Everything is so expensive when it comes to doing something for your car. And I keep complaining, y'all. <laughs> because i never had to do this like my husband did this for me like why do i have to pay 54 dollars for this little piece of sticker i like, got two-year stickers because my husband started me off on two-year stickers and he told me to continue to get two-year stickers i'm guessing that's why it's 50 but still this is a piece of paper like i have to pay so much for stupid stuff don't make no sense just like they made me pay six dollars to get a copy of the occupancy permit and I'm the one did all the work. I'm the one with all the names on her, all of that. And she made they made me pay six dollars. Like that's the type of stuff that I uh trip off of and that bothers me. Other stuff uh that bother other people, they don't bother me. See, I'm weird. I'm crazy for real. So anyway, <laughs> should I put these stickers on her? Because you know what? I heard why I stay. They don't play. They don't play, baby. Let me stop. Let me just pull on. It's too cold to get out though. Let me go ahead and try to put these stickers on my car. Would you get out of my car? I'm going to do one at a time because it's too cold. Okay, I got this peeled off. I'm going to stick it right on top of the 18. How about that? 2020. Now I can't get this one off. Oh, there we go. I got the other one. <laughs> oh my God. Trying to be legit is hard. It don't make no sense. It's spring. And my hands are so cold. Why is it so cold out there? So that means I don't have to do this again to 2020. And because next year I ain't gonna have to need nobody. I'm gonna be, I'm a big girl now. I'm grown. I'm grown, grown. Now I'm doing all this on my own. So look, next year, would I have to pay those uh personal property tax? Like, I don't get it. I already told y'all how much I paid. It was four hundred dollars for my personal property tax right my husband got me two year stickers right so what did i pay the four hundred dollars for 
I'm confused. She just told me I just paid for 2017. So when I go and pay for my personal property taxes for 2020, does that mean it's gonna be $800? I asked her this question and her answer was, it all depends on our, on our taxes. I'm like, I just don't understand this stuff. I really don't. And I think I, I mean, I really don't try to sit down and understand it, but I just don't understand. Like if, I, if I'm only, she just telling me I only paid for 2017, that means I have another two year stickers. That means I'm gonna have to pay $800 next time. Like, oh my God, like I don't understand. But anyway, I'm on my way to see my client, y'all. I talk too much and so, uh, yeah. Oh, look at me. Mm -hmm. I said I was going to get cute today, put on some makeup and stuff, put my contacts on, but no, it's too cold. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to go see my client, and I'll just see y'all when I turn this camera back on. So, hey, y'all. I done made it back home from work, and I got some problems going on. Do y'all know I haven't received my furniture yet? I have not receive my furniture i'm about to call bob's furniture right now hold on thank you for calling my bob's furniture store for my store hours press one for questions about your undelivered merchandise payments or general account information press four good afternoon thanks for calling bob's furniture say man this is charles hey charles how you doing Hey, I'm doing good. How are you feeling today? This is Charnell Hawkins. And uh, I need to speak with a manager, a supervisor. Or you know what? Better yet, this is Bob Discount Furniture. Bob available? Uh, no, no, ma'am. I can get you involved with an uh, actual supervisor if you would like to. Yes. Okay. Give me one moment. Makes no sense. Thank you. We're holding this is Tracy. How can I help you? Yes, Tracy. How are you? I'm doing okay. How are you? I'm fine. My name is Shornell Hawkins. This is ridiculous that I've paid my money for my furniture back in January, and I still do not have my delivery yet. And here we are in April. Oh, my gosh. Exactly. Okay. I just yeah. feel like I need to be compensated or something and get that extra piece that came with the living room set or something. And every time I call, they gave me one delivery date. Then they gave me one for March 17th. It wasn't available. Then they gave me one for the 20th. Then I called. He just threw out a date. Nothing. Okay. Let me, let me uh, see what I can see here. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Hold on. Sorry, my computer is really slow today. Okay. All right. Let me make sure the brief holds. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, thank you. Hold on. Now she want to place me on hold. I want my stuff. Why well, I'm putting this on my lips? <laughs> Need to speak to Bob. Forget the supervisor. Let me get an EP in out just in case I need to get the number to court. Bro, I ain't even got no EP in my work bag. Bob! Can you get me an EP in because I might need to have to call Bob. Yes. Thank you so much for holding. I do apologize for keeping you on hold for so long. Okay, so I was look I'm looking at your order here, and I am showing that the love seat is available. The sofa is what keeps getting pushed back. And I'm not exactly sure why that's happening, but it is. you're not the only one. There are several customers who have ordered this that were waiting on a sofa. Um, so I can, what I can do is I can go ahead, if you like, we can schedule the love seat so you at least have that. And then continue to wait for the sofa. I'm showing the sofa as April 21st. April 21st? Yeah. It keeps getting pushed back, and we're not sure why. We don't have them. But we're waiting on the manufacturer to send them to us. And there's no way you can find out why? Um, I can try to find out why the container is late. Um, like I said, we have love seats, but we don't have any sofas. I'm not sure what the problem is. I can try to find out why, um, but I'm not sure... You know, I'll get anything other than we're waiting on it from the manufacturer. I mean, like, will Bob need to find another company to go through then? Because this is ridiculous. You just giving me a date because every time I call, I hear the same no, thing. Every time I call, the sofa is being delayed. And then that's going to be available on so-and-so date. Like, now this is the fifth time that I got a new date. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, I'm not just telling you something to, you know, make you happy. I would not do that. I'm telling you, and I'm looking at right here on my computer screen. I will keep an eye on this, and then I'm going to do some further research and see if there's anything else that I can find out. Um, 
I will touch base with you in a day or two and let you know about this sofa. Okay, yeah, I look forward to that. Okay. All right, again, my name is Tracy. Okay, Tracy. All right, thanks for now. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Girl, I'm getting ready to call corporate. They're going to do something. Because this is ridiculous that I have to wait this long for my stuff. Y'all just heard my little rant about my little furniture that I mean, like, it don't make no sense. But anyway, yeah, what I'm doing today, um, I need to get up and do some stuff. I got a lot to do. It is not like I don't have nothing to do. I need to clean up. I need to clean this room again. If I clean this room one more time, like, I don't understand how it gets so messy. Like, I just cleaned it. Like, it gets so messy. Like, I need to do laundry. I have stuff to do. I'm just starting to get so tired. I'm getting tired. So anyway, yeah, uh, my son's wife, my daughter-in-law, she will be home next weekend. Um, she's going to be here until she delivers the baby because my son has to go off to Mississippi. But she's going to come home and um, be here with us to have the baby. My son will um, be here for the uh, birth of the baby. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Cannot wait. I'm so excited. Um, to meet my little glam baby. Yes, I cannot wait. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's what I'm I'm waiting on that in June. So June always seemed to be a big month for me. And for those of you that has been following me here on my vlogs, y'all know I had a big, big month in June last year. And if you follow me on Facebook, you know I called it uh, 10 days of getting my life because it's just be so much going on in June. Princess birthday is in June. My son's birthday is in June. And now uh, I'm getting ready to have a, a grandbaby in June. And my son seems to always come home from the Navy in June. So we just go out and just do any and everything that we can think of, you know, what our pockets are, will allow us to do. So yeah, June is a big month for me. I really, really enjoy that month. I don't have no plans as to yet what we're going to be doing because things just may be a little bit different this year since we will have the baby. So I don't know, but I do know we, we will be doing something for Princess birth birthday. Oh, is that skin on my lip? Ugh. We will be doing something for Princess Birthday. I'm not king on birthday parties. I, I've never threw none of my children birthday parties. And the two that did have a birthday party, Dad did it. I, I, I'm, I'm just not about that life. You know, like my son want me to throw him a baby shower. He called me last night. I'm like, son, I'm not about that life. That's not me. That's I, I can't. I can't do it. Like, I'm just not about that life. So, um, I don't know what, what's going to happen. But, yeah, I'm excited. I'm so excited. All I know is I'm just excited right now just about life. I'm my ups and I have my downs, you know, just, just the way God set my life up. My mind, my just, just the way he set me up, you know. So, uh, yeah, uh, I know y'all saw it already. But, yeah, I'm excited that I, t I was able to take care of everything for my car. Like, it may not mean nothing to you all. And, yes, I know I'm grown, grown, fully grown. Yes, I'm grown, grown, grown here. But let me tell you something. I don't know how God set your life up. But I know how he set mine up, right? So he set mine up in a way to where I was always blessed to have, you know, people to, like, help me. Like, I always had my mommy. You know, I had, then I had my husband and stuff like that. I'm going somewhere with this, y'all. Just, just stick with me. I'm going somewhere with this. I think I said this to y'all before. Anytime I ever suffered in my life, it was because of my own mess up or because I chose. You know, I really didn't have to suffer financially. I always been okay, even whether it was my own money or, you know, somebody else's money, you know. But anyway, um, today I realized that it's time for me to... I always stood on my own, but I'm still going to say it's time for me to stand on my own because today made me realize that I finally did something without no one's help. And like I said, it may not be big to you, but it's big to me because someone has always done this for me. Like my husband, like I didn't have to do stuff like that, you know, for us, my car, anything. Like I was just almost in a free world just living when I was with my husband. And I know it sounds crazy and I know sometimes I sound contradicting when it comes to my husband because he was everything. My husband, like I could be at work and drop a piece of paper on the, on the floor and call my husband. He'd be like, I'm on my way to pick it up for you. He was that type of person, but it's some other things that just just, I couldn't get with, you know, and I wasn't strong enough to compromise on none of that. That's a whole nother story. That ain't even why I'm here. I'm not here to talk about that. But what I'm saying is, you know, I was able to take care of everything for my car, 
pay my property taxes, get the insurance, you know, tax. And, and today when I went to get the tags and I placed them on there, y'all saw me place them on my plate, right? Y'all, I almost exhaled because I felt like I accomplished something. You know, I've accomplished a lot in life. You know, but I just feel like I did something on my own. And I'm saying that to say this, like yesterday when I did my orientation for my for real job. I got a for real, real job. Now, real job. So, anyway, I already told y'all that. But, yeah, when I got down, of course, you know, I had to fill out your paperwork and stuff at work or whatever. And, when again, when I got down to the emergency contact, like, I straight froze. I froze up because I always put my mommy name down always put her name down for my emergency contact so i'm thinking like god who will i put on here like she was my everything like she, everything she was everything so like who will i put here you know and yes i am still married but my point is i always had my mommy name in that spot no matter what it was if anything should ever happen they were going to call my mommy so, um, I started thinking then, like, wow, uh, I, I felt alone. I felt like, I, yes, I got my babies, but I really felt alone. Like, you know, before my mom passed, I couldn't even imagine how a person felt to even lose their mom. But, um, it's just a feeling of feeling alone since she's gone. Like, you know how you call your mom when you got problems, you know, you got your girlfriends, but when you call your mom is so much different. And my mom was so... Oh my God, when I called my mom with a problem, no matter what it was, if I was short on a bill, if I fell down the steps, if my husband did something to me, if the kids were acting out, you know, if I was just feeling any type of way, when I called my mom and by the time I ended that phone call, I was uplifted. You know, I was here, but by the time I finished talking to her, I was back here. She like lifted me up. She always spoke into my life, you know, and it was just, y'all just don't know, like, I don't think I will ever, ever, and I'm going to hold this crying this time. I don't think I will ever, ever get over losing my mom because God made mothers for a reason. Like, he made us for a reason. He built us. He, he made us so strong, y'all. Look at all the pain we got to go through to deliver our babies. Like, a woman is so amazing and my mama was so amazing um, in spite of anything you know growing up that i'm felt like she didn't do right but my mom has always just 145 dollars and 40 so anyway cents. yeah my camera cut Currently, off on me y'all so that was subject to disconnection if i'm trying to pay this light bill y'all hear it please enter the amount of your payment followed by the pound sign for example if your payment is 106 dollars and 45 cents Enter 10645, followed by the pound sign. You entered $1.61. No. If this is correct, press 1. To re-enter, press 2. I do it. You entered $161. If this is correct, press 1. To re-enter, your transaction is complete. So, okay, y'all. My camera cut off on me, so that must have been a sign. I need to just shut up and just hold that for another time. Once I start going, I just start flowing. So anyway, yeah, the point I was trying to make is that I felt good today that I was able to do something, accomplish something by myself. I didn't have to depend on nobody. I did it myself. Yeah, I ain't talking about nothing. Forget it. But anyway, yeah, I'm sitting here chilling. Just pay these bills, y'all. I straight got a disconnect notice for $161. Like, <laughs> but you know, I really wasn't tripping off of it because... It was a zero balance, you know, so I ain't trip off of it. And then the bill came in for like $77. I ain't paid. Anyway, the next bill that came in after I paid, the balance that my husband left off, yeah. He told me he paid on the light bill. Girl, please. That light bill was seven hundred and something dollars. So anyway, I paid that balance off. And then the next bill that came in was $77. You know, I threw it off to the side because you know $77. I wasn't really tripping off of it. So then it added up another moment and I ain't paid. And now it's $161. Well, actually $160.59. Yeah, I gotta stop doing that because you know what? This this is how I hurt myself. I should have paid the $77. And then when the next bill came in, it wouldn't have been nothing just like this one so now those two bills added up together and i had to pay 161 see that's the stuff i'm talking about i, I caused that on myself but anyway nevertheless i've paid it and um 
Only thing I have to worry about is my gas bill. Uh, it came in, but I haven't opened it yet. It came in like three or four days ago. I haven't opened it yet. Um, what I'm opening for because I just have to wait till I get paid to pay it. So ain't no sense in me opening. Ain't no sense in me stressing. That's something my mama taught me. Like, why stress over something you can't pay? So I can't pay it right now. So I'll wait till I get paid. Then I'll open it and pay it. So that's how I'm going to do that. So anyway, yeah, I ain't talking about nothing. Girl, I'm going to turn this camera off so I see y'all next time I turn it back on. <laughs> hey, hey, y'all. Uh, I bought a pencil. I now I'm woke because Princess just woke me up. What did it say? Do the read. Right and mark. do some more homework. Oh, my God. Yeah. So I guess I'll get up. It's oh, like, my arm hurt. I slept on my arm. This is like 100 a page, not 37 pages. I need to get up because I want to redo my tables before we go to bed. So anyway, guys, I'm going to get off this uniform, and I'll see y'all when I turn this camera back, back on. on. So this is the paper. I hope it's not too gray. This would be good for the countertop. Got my Zecto knife so I can cut it straight across. Yeah. So this is what the table is looking like. This is one of the end tables. Is this the right leg that go on here? Yeah. against the floor we got a spray painted but this the table mm. so I don't know if it's gonna be a good fit we'll see whenever the living room set gets here so now I just need to work on the walls and that and I will be doing whitewashing this this weekend hopefully it turn out right but yeah it's a lot. So I think it's like 50 shades of gray. That's what my uh, family room is. 50 shades of gray. That's a different gray. That's a different gray. That's a different gray. And my, I need to spray paint that black. My living room set is a different shade of gray too. So I don't know how it's going to look, but I hope it don't look too bad. Princess is giving her dog a bath with her big brother. What the? She's so white, Jada. Hi, Jada. Hey, Jada. You need your face. You need your face cut up, though. I like your body that size, but you need your face cut up. <laughs> hey, y'all. Princess and I at the kitchen table trying to do our homework. And this is the question. Franco stickers cost 75 cents. He only has nickels in his pocket. How many nickels does he need to buy his stickers? Solve the problem, show your work. And See, that's why I ain't never passing, man, because I always want you to show your work. I don't know how you show your work. And so, we have nickels, right? That's a quarter. I mean, yeah, nickels all over here, so we can count pi fives. Yeah, and you gotta count it uh, till you get 75 cents. Go okay. ahead. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. 75. What'd I say? He, how much did they cost? 75. Exactly. So how many nickels do you have? 75 nickels. No, you don't. Count these nickels. How many nickels equal, uh, make 75 cents? Count them. So 15 nickels equals... 50? No, 75. Oh. <laughs> 75. So how much on your work? I get it. I'm gonna get this right. Watch. 
You gonna get it right? Go ahead then. Do your thing. Do your thing. Do your thing. You, you can't look. You should know that word. Say it. Um, Amount. Yes. <laughs> yes, princess. So, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog because I don't know how long it is. I don't know how much I vlog today. Continue to help her with her homework. So, until the next time, until the next video, bye-bye. I show you more videos of doing my homework too, right, Mom? Yes. Bye. <laughs> Oh